Hi guys, I'd like to do a small review of the Octeu Range Cruiser 115. It's uh, the smallest uh, in the series of range cruisers for Octeu. Uh, the 815 actually, uh, I guess, means that it's uh, 8 meters 15, uh, although uh, when I measured it, it seemed to be a little bit longer with the uh, swim platform, but um, it's at least I'm sure it's under nine meters. It's uh, my third boat, a little bit of a compromise anytime you choose a boat because uh, it's difficult to find a boat that fits all the criteria. But uh, so far, uh, this is what I decided upon. Well, on board, you have a very sturdy uh, swim platform, the ladder, swim ladder there, that can be deployed if you want to swim and crawl back up to the boat but of course a safety handlebar good height and a door you can come into there is sufficient storage space on the under the deck floors the middle one includes the diesel tank which can take 200 uh, 200 liters of diesel and still space to store a few things like rods and nets we have our gas canister and a few other features that I will uh, review sooner. on both sides of the boat there's ample walkway and uh, this is something I'm actually very happy about because uh, with my older boat I had to crawl almost on tiptoe when I wanted to go to the front of the boat. But this was a blessed relief. This is an overview of the top. A few things there. And if we walk to the front of the boat, there's sufficient space two people to lie and sunbathe and down here again we have the windlass and good space for a good length of chain so I use the boat mainly for uh, short trips uh, sometimes a few days otherwise mostly fishing the two glass sliding glass doors can be opened from both ends. I really don't know why, because uh, that seat blocks the other side. But anyway, probably if you need air while you're lying down there. Good height to the roof. I would post the statistics of the height to the roof, uh, hopefully uh, under the video description. There's a C uh, formed uh, sitting arrangement and a table that can be put uh, mounted there so you can uh, uh, have your lunch or uh, sit down and relax entertain your guests that tabletop top doubles up as a bed and it can be converted to a sleeping area uh, note that the original boat has a fold-out table that comes out right up to here I didn't want that because when you made the bed even though you had the advantage of a double bed, it was difficult to walk up and down for those using the cabin. Sufficient storage space for all your provisions and uh, good counter height. This is something extra I made just to make it look uh, a little bit neat and clean, just because I didn't like the sight of a sink always and the two burners which I almost never use so I just made these uh, this cover out of uh, UV resistant uh, nylon material and it sits and makes it a little bit neater and it also gives a good work surface the captain's seat and the instruments I'd make another video where I'll go through uh, all the instruments and uh, probably the safety stuff here we have a fridge it's uh, all right for short trips and a microwave oven I believe I mentioned that the two burners are gas 
the windows open so you can have cross ventilation in the boat and again good space for your maps and stuff and that's the top with the dials and a few instruments then we come down the steps there here we have the head it's a manual head with a 25 litre septic tank that has a valve bypass a hand wash and storage again behind the head and um, here we have a wardrobe which uh, doubles up for storage and this was the tabletop I mentioned earlier that can be mounted into a table uh, at the sea formed uh, sitting area or to make the bed we have the cabin there more storage for a table and double bed with good space and uh, the stand height here is uh, okay for me uh, I'm about uh, 180 182 but if you're taller you might have to bend your neck but um, the place is actually mainly for coming and having a rest so that shouldn't be much of a problem and of course the hatches can be blinded if you choose and the emergency exit and ventilation there and there which is something extra I installed well that's just an overview feel free to ask any questions about the boat and um, I'll post a few more uh, parts in continuation with uh, some other features